Yo, what is going on, my friends? Welcome back to yet another video. Hope you guys are having a super, super Saturday so far. Today, we're looking at a weapon that got nerfed and buffed at the same time. It's an infamous king of weapons, and we are going to give it a real good look today. Before we do that, I've always got a little request for you guys, and that is to smash that like button. Go on, leg it to that like button like my Mecha Titan is legging it. To hit subscribe on the channel as well. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notification bells, and strap yourselves in, because today we are looking at the Shayura's Wrath. That's right, the old Shayura's Wrath. This is one of the most powerful weapons in recent memory. However, it finally, finally seemingly got the range nerf that it has needed for quite a long time. And I thought, you know what? Since they nerfed it and they also buffed the damage at the same time, I wonder exactly where this thing is sitting. And as you can probably see in the gameplay, this is control gameplay, by the way, for the Karens in the comment section, constantly comment that I always play Rumble. Here is some control for you guys. I hope you guys acknowledge it in the comment section. They probably won't. But the point is this gun got nerfed and buffed. And it's kind of a strange situation because it's not really typical for Bungie to do that, right? To nerf something and then to buff it at the same time, which is what's happened here. So what exactly did they do? Well, they finally nerfed the range on this SMG. They reduced the zoom value down to 15. At one point in time, it had 17 zoom. And then at another point in time, it had 16 zoom. And now finally, it has 15 zoom, which basically puts it in line with all of the other weapons like this. Now, what did they do to change that, though? What did they do to buff it? And I got to give Bungie props here. I'm not giving them props for much at the moment because there's not much to give them props for, if we're being honest. However, this was a good change because if 600 RPM SMGs don't have a lot of range, then they are kind of pointless in a way because 900 rpms kill faster 750 rpms kill faster and they don't rely on as much range as 600 rpms 600 rpms are more forgiving they have better body shot damage they're more stable by default because they're precision frames you know all of those things come together and make these weapons 600 rpm smgs very steady and consistent and reliable but if you knock their range down to exist in the same world as a borrowed time or a multi-mac then they basically would just become useless which is what would have happened but what bungie actually did is they buffed the damage on 600 rpm smgs not massively but enough enough of a buff that you notice the difference and especially with shayura's wrath if you see anybody using shayura's wrath literally ever they will have kill clip on it it's just an absolute staple of this weapon. The roll that you see here in front of you, I have 100 range, killing wind and kill clip. It's an adept. And obviously I get as much range as possible after getting a kill. And obviously I get the big damage buff. And normally I think you would hit 29 to the head, maybe 30 before with kill clip active. And now you're hitting 32. So that plus two to the damage on these weapons really has made a solid amount of difference. And even though, yeah, my range isn't as much as before, it's still got a hell of a lot of range compared to other SMGs simply because it's an adept. And so you can put a range mod on it like I have. And that literally gives me 100 range on this SMG. And it's, you know, you just can't get 100 range on any other SMG in the game as far as I'm aware. Even the craftable ones like the Submission, for example, I don't think it can go above like 68 range. So yeah, it's the max range SMG. It still is the best SMG in the game, in my opinion. Even if you look at borrowed time and you look at multi-mac, yes, they are better in some ways. They have better time to kills, for example. However, they're not as forgiving as the Shayura's Wrath. And now, obviously, Shayura's Wrath just hits so hard. Obviously, I want to show you my roll real quick. So you can see it here, extended barrel. We could get 100 range with full ball, but obviously we get all the extra stability with extended. We've got Accurize, we've got Kill Clip, we've got Alacrity. I'm going to show you Alacrity in a moment as well, because we're going to go into Rumble after this. And it is absolutely nuts. Alacrity just makes the gun feel insane. Obviously, you can see the range masterwork and the range mod. Now, obviously, Alacrity is only going to work when you're Last Guardian standing or if you're playing Rumble. And I've got to say, this is insane how good this feels with Alacrity active. And when you also combine the damage buff with that, because look at it, it's disgusting. And the range is still really, really good. It's not like it doesn't have any range anymore. It's still easily one of the highest range SMGs in the game, if not the highest range SMG. So it's still got the range on basically every other SMG. And now it has even more damage. So this is one of the strangest nerf slash buff moments ever, I would say. They've taken a gun and they've reduced what was problematic and still managed to make it competitive 
and 600 RPM SMGs are going nowhere for sure. Antiop D, Enyo D, Shayura's Wrath, they're all absolutely insane still. And they're even better when you get a damage buff. Now you don't need to lean on being in that 25 meter range area to, you know, leverage the strength of the gun. Now you can get in people's faces with these SMGs a lot more than you could before. Granted, if you're playing someone using a 900 RPM or a 750 RPM, they might get the better of you up close because obviously they just have a flat out better time to kill but they don't have as much body shot damage and obviously they don't have as much headshot damage either these things hit like absolute trucks now 600 rpm smgs might kind of be bordering and kind of kind of like encroaching into 750 smg territory with this damage value that they now have and man oh man the gameplay probably is showing it but it's disgusting my friends if you haven't yet already i do have a little request nice for you guys to smash that like button on this video if you haven't hit like and you're not a subscriber yet what are you waiting for daily destiny 2 content even when there's no content that is how we do out here my friend so make sure you subscribe and enjoy all of that juicy juicy content look at this Oof. spraying them down it's just it's beastie it really is beastie and <clears throat> honestly i think bungie should continue down this path of if they're going to nerf something don't let it just be nerfed into uselessness unless of course you're talking about lawrence driver or arbalus in that case no just just bury those weapons we don't need to see them ever again but in the case of a primary weapon like shayura's or any 600 rpm smg this is better it also makes previously weaker 600 rpms better as well for example the craftable throne world smg is a 600 rpm with 13 zoom and before that just made it absolutely pointless right because 13 zoom is not enough but now these things hit a lot harder so maybe you might see me make a video on that weapon in the future but yeah my friends there it is if you're wondering shayura's wrath is still insane just in a slightly different way hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one peace